all you beautiful Linux people and welcome to yet another one of our Clueless Girl installs which this time around is going to be all about Linux Lite and since we actually already installed it uh, in the previous videos if you haven't seen the previous video please make sure to check it out it's right there you'll see how i installed it you'll see the experience i had with it i loved it i loved it it was great no hiccups no pauses no problems even my hair is excited there was absolutely no problems with the installation whatsoever i was really happy and as you guys saw I absolutely loved uh, the guidance. Thank you so much to uh, the Linux Lite developer. It was amazing. <laughs> it was great. And now I want to take a look and see what's going on within the, the Linux Lite environment. And that would be the most interesting thing to see because so far we've only been through the installation process. And yes, my favorite pillow is still here. <laughs> So the next thing we're going to be looking at is the environment, how I like things, how things are positioned, how I can customize things. And I can't wait. Let's just go ahead and start with our a lovely, lovely, lovely Linux Lite and see uh, where things are headed and where things are going. So as we can see, there is a couple of things that we might want to look at and voila now you see me from this side because otherwise you wouldn't really be able to see me so uh, let us see what's going on with Linux Lite and what I'm liking and disliking hopefully there won't be anything that I will be disliking so uh, what we have so far we have a really really clean looking desktop with a couple of with a couple of exclusions the interesting thing that I actually forgot to mention during the installation is I installed a Linux Lite, everything was fine. The problem was with uh, the system uh, with the UEFI, it just didn't necessarily want to boot uh, Linux Lite as first option. It just kept defaulting onto uh, Ubuntu and Linux Mint both, which according to myself, I should not have even been sitting there, just Linux Mint, which is fine. But since Mint is a derivative, distribution of, of Ubuntu. Okay, I, sh I, I basically would shut up in that scenario. So anyway, as you can see over here, the only thing I actually installed so far on the desktop was OBS. Uh, it's running right down here. Apart from that, it's untouched. And I still have this install Linux Lite because it didn't seem to have understood that it's already installed. But anyway, since we are not really going to be downloading any programs right now, I will see and check the boot order. It's probably because the USB is still in my PC because I forgot to take it out. <laughs> Don't judge me on this. Stop it. It's all good. Let's see what is going on. That is again the test version. That's how it will look like for anybody who's trying to uh, to see how, what Linux Lite is about. So we have a nice little feather indicating how light it is. If you didn't know, that's one of its main features. First look at uh, the taskbar. Uh, let's see, it's installing updates. Obviously for when that's already set up and when the whole distro is installed, that would be where you would be installing the actual updates. Then uh, we have wired connections, networking, VPN connections. Nice. VPN connections is also separately indicated. That's really sweet. You can edit the connections. So basically that's your network tab. And here is the audio mixer. Unlike Ubuntu, which is amazing and doesn't have these functionalities on the menu where it's right on top, right here, it's main menu, not on the bottom, it's on the top. It does not really have these functionalities of the icons. You can't really click them. Here you can click them separately. And for some odd reason, it's telling me that it's 8 a.m., but it's not really 8 a.m. Oh yeah, it's because I haven't installed it yet and my PC booted it from the USB. So ignore that. Uh, nice little neat calendar. 
incorporated into the hour so if you just click on the clock you'll see the calendar that's great because for me i personally hate the fact that i have to go into calendar separately and then time and zone options separately as well it's really handy to just have them like this it's really compact and it's honestly everything you might need the only thing i would have wished for is oh oh okay i can switch oh sweet anyway there is nothing else i could have wished for for the tab I like that it's minimalistic as far as we have all of the things <laughs> you can move them <laughs> unlike Linux Mint you can actually move them which I love control panel user files this PC network trash I cannot I if you saw my Linux Mint video you know I cannot stress this enough this is an amazing feature developers if you're watching if any one of you is watching this needs to be everywhere it needs to be easy to access the trash can is the most important can in the world just do it just put it on the screen jesus i've never seen like apart from linux mint and now linux Lite, i have not seen any developer that has it out right here uh this already looks a lot like windows to be honest with all of its different little programs and, and little folders that are right outside of here i like that i like that it's you can hide them and you can rearrange them likely you can open open what in a new window open the desktop in a new window which is new you can create launchers Cool! You can actually set up your own little icons and stuff for the, for say trash control panel or any of these. You can likely do that with games and you can make your own little launchers that open up and you can fully customize it. That's amazing! URL links. Okay. Wow. Documents, obviously. You can open the terminal here by right clicking. Task manager screenshots screenshots just with a right click oh. this is amazing open this admin applications in case you forgot where your applications were settings the system settings are here you can log out of here as well just by right clicking it this is so good office multimedia everything is installed because i did click on the third party installation enabled so we have all of this firefox thunderbird mail accessories uh file search screenshot mousepad guys this is amazing accessibility advanced network configuration ibus preferences drivers installations network shares software sounds sources system report guys what else can you look for i mean it's how easy is that come on how easy is that just a simple right click and you can see and open everything like the, i am i am mind blown this this is amazing as you can see uh, there's also different layouts of the look of the desktop everything seems to be in the polar opposite so it's either really bright or it's really dark um, I don't mind that I think that it's good uh, there are some some tiny teeny differences with that you can customize the icons as well oh wow this is just like literally a bunch of skins this is so good you can customize anything so say I want to I want to run high contrast High contrast might be amazing for people that have a rough time or their eyes are not that good or want to have it look just like an app or just like a phone. This to me looks like a phone layout. That's amazing. Fonts, settings, toolbar style icons, sounds, if you want event sounds, window. Oh, what happened? This is not what I wished for. No scaling, please. <laughs> it's so easy to customize it even customize itself mm, see I didn't even do anything anyway uh, let's run with this one that we selected um, we have everything a restore wait restore the minimized windows that's also huge this is so good 
you have your Firefox browser, you have your file manager here, you have the terminal. I'm constantly doing this because this is where my stand is with my camera, so I can't really see because it's like... I mean, guys, Mozilla, Mozilla is automatically installed. I mean, what more can I wish for? Uh, honestly, this is like the best thing ever. What about menu? Why does it not open it? Okay, you basically just have to press down and you press the little windows button on your keyboard so it brings it up. Favorites, recently used, again, recently used. Thanks so much. You have it done, you have it checked. You're so good, you guys. My computer, documents, downloads, music pictures, public templates, videos, everything you you need from your computer without with Ubuntu, you had to actually click on the directory directly on the home directory so you can open anything and something that you wanted to look for from here direct access the menu is so easy to use uh, you have all of these things additionally on your desktop you have the accessories over here you have the graphics you have paint and photo manager already pre-installed if you select the third party programs installation internet you can log into your mail directly. Uh, multimedia and all of this stuff. Office is already installed. Package manager, partition drives. How easy is it? I feel like whoever developed this distro was someone who really actually cared. I feel like this distro was developed by someone who extensively used Linux for multiple years and didn't want to reinvent the wheel. They just wanted to make the wheel run better. I love this. I honestly just love it and I, I don't wish for anything else. If you're asking me, I think that it has all of the optimization and customization options you might wish for. You still have the console somewhere here. I spotted it, I think. I keep forgetting that I have to open it like this. Uh, or like that. Let me see uh, if I can find the console. Terminal, open terminal here. There we go. It's so easy to remember. It's just easy to remember. It's easy to repeat. It's easy to find in case you forgot about it. It tells you everything. Uh, it tells you also the, as you can see here, the Linux version, what day it is, your memory usage, your disk usage, all of this, it boots up directly. It also lets you know when it's fulfilling a process. Uh, the percentage and how far it it needs in the terminal to actually install what you want to have installed Which I also find is amazing like this is Linux's issues so far from my own standpoint and what I've seen and I've understood um, As a previous other OS user I'm not gonna name any names because I know you guys are sensitive as a previous user of uh, different OS's I never really saw the simplest things that I didn't think I even needed in my life, which was just a simple percentage calculator of how much I need to install whatever I'm currently installing and I'm running in the terminal. Uh, also the trash can problem, <laughs> which every other distro seems to forget about, ease of access, having all of the things on your desktop so that if it's somebody who is not that computer literate operating this thing, they would actually be able to get right into the desktop. All of these things are so important and I feel like the ease of access gets corrupt more and more and the less you add these things, or the fewer of these things you add as functionalities and try to reinvent the wheel, the more complicated it gets and the, the less the people actually get it. In my personal opinion, if it does take time for someone to readjust into your distribution or your OS, so it takes time to see where the icons are, it takes time to get used to where the terminal is, it takes time to install everything that needs to be installed, it means you haven't really done a good job if you want to do something that's fully customizable and you can optimize. This is my personal opinion and I feel like um, some people might think the same, but honestly Linux Lite is probably the best distro I've tried so far. Arch Linux I had some problems with, just the pure installation in itself it took me a while, it took me a few days. Uh, you can see that in uh, the video if you have the time or wish to see it. Um, Ubuntu, 
easy installation amazing not good for gaming at all uh, and on top of that there was some a login loop issues don't even want to get into that Ubuntu you really did fail me it was I, I don't even want to talk about it I'm still affected I, I still I just broke up with Ubuntu and I'm, I'm... <laughs> Uh, and um, the third thing, uh, or the distro I installed before this one was Linux Mint, which again, amazing distro, um, again, really fast, really light, really good. Some of the things, especially, maybe it was actually also the installation order because I had installed Ubuntu before that, but it really hit me that it had all of the functionalities that Ubuntu truly didn't and it had all of the additional things that I as a person needed but I feel like this distribution just showed me all of the things that I was truly looking for and wasn't finding in other distributions it's light, it's fast to install, it's too easy to use I, I'm supposing by everybody who is interested in trying it and using it it did not, it did not take me any time to get used to it as you saw, I just remembered where I saw the terminal and even though it wasn't included in the in the lower tab menu, I didn't have any problem doing that whatsoever and it was no issue. It was no issue for me. It was no issue for, for anything I was actually doing. I honestly, I might be rambling a little bit too much, but I just love the fact that it's so many things you can do. Um, in the home directory, you can see all of your things. And from the from the booting menu, you can see all the rest of your things. Honestly, it's just one of these wow moments I'm experiencing right now, where I'm just realizing what are all the things I needed in uh, in any kind of Linux distro and I didn't have. This is the distro. This I feel like is the the thing that you can use freely, that you can get used to, anyone could get used to, and it's the newbie friendly one. Honestly, if if there's anything that beats it, you guys can just let me know. I know there's other options like Manjaro and so on and so forth, but guys, this is the one. I really like it. I am really, really happy uh, with it. And I actually can't wait to start installing a couple of other things like Steam and uh, Wine and Lutris if possible. I haven't checked out yet whether it's possible, I will see. Thanks to your guys' advice, I know where to look now. Yeah, I just can't wait to see what's, uh, what's going on. So you guys, if you like this video, please make sure to let me know. Thank you for all of your overwhelming support so far. It really warms my heart to read all of the comments from you guys with all of the support and all of the useful tips you're actually giving me. Thank you so much for supporting me and for showing that to me as well. I hope that uh, in the future I will be able to keep making such videos for you and hopefully you will be enjoying them as well. But meanwhile, if you want to let me know about some stuff, you can just let me know about some stuff in the comments below. You can just tell me what's going on in your life, even if you're facing a midlife crisis. I'll help you. I'm here for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Also, if you liked that video, give me a like. If you disliked it, give me a dislike. And do share it and do subscribe because that's helping us out a tremendous lot, you guys. Thank you so much for that as well. And I'll see you in the future, my dear sirs, where we'll actually be trying out installing all of the different things that are suitable for gaming on Linux Lite. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!